from corner to corner. Try to get it exact. The other rulers that are hanging up, you can use those too. Those can also draw a straight line. These ones are the ones though you should use when you're measuring. Then you're gonna draw a line up through the center using your tri-square. Put a dot in the center and draw it through there. <laughs> then how much are we gonna measure on each side of that line, Ashley? Three, two, 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 two. Well, I'm just you the need line today, aren't I? You need to if you just pick a number, six, add two oh. to six, put a little mark. Minus two from six, put a little mark. Then you want to draw those straight up. Then the next part, you want to make sure that you know where your name is, because that's the side you're going to measure from. You want to measure three and three eighths. If you don't know where three and three eighths are in your folder, you should have a paper that has the measurements on it. So it tells you where three and three eighths is. Measure up, three and three eighths, put a line, put a dot, something, so it crosses your two inch line. Then, once it looks like that, you're going to bring it to me. This is where your hole should be. Let's see how good I did. If it's close, if it's touching, you'll get 10 points. I got 10 points. If you're a perfectionist and nine points just won't do, you can try it again on the other side. So you get two chances if you want 10 points for sure. In the center of that circle, even if your lines are all wrong, my circles are correct. You're going to put this in the center of the circle and give it just a little tap so when you let go, it stays up. You don't have to hit it all the way through. Just what you want is a little mark. It's easier to see at the drill press if you have a little mark. Line it up. You want to hold this in place while you clamp it so it doesn't move. So now it is perfectly lined up. When you drill, you don't want to go straight down. You're going to go down a little bit, up, so some of the sawdust comes out. You're going to go down a little bit, up, down a little bit, up, down a little bit, up, until you see white pine come through this wood. As soon as you see white wood, you know you're all the way through. Don't touch anything until it comes to a complete stop. Then you're going to loosen it, flip it around, and do the other side. When you are drilling, you don't want to drill where someone else has drilled before. Eventually this is going to be all filled with holes, so you want to have it nice and clean when you line up your drill. You line it up, you want to hear a click. Then you're ready to drill. How do you know you're all the way through? When you hit white wood. Or pine. After you get this far, I want you to do one of these today, but you can do the next step. Go to your seat and look for two things, what type of wood this is and what is the next step.